The Battle of the Three Hundred Champions, known since Herodotus' day as the Battle of the Champions, was a battle fought in roughly 546 BC between Argos and Sparta. Rather than commit full armies both sides agreed to pitting three hundred of their best men against each other. Chapter 1 Herodotus According to Herodotus, Sparta had surrounded and captured the plain of Thyria. When the Argives marched out to defend it, the two armies agreed to let three hundred champions from each city fight, with the winner taking the territory. Presumably the idea was to reduce the total number of casualties. Both armies marched home, so as to prevent either side from helping their champions and escalating the duel into a full battle. Neither side would allow for any injured men to be taken. The day called for complete destruction of the enemy force for victory. The two armies were evenly matched and neither could gain the upper hand. They fought until nightfall, and after a bloody battle only three men remained, two Argives and one Spartan. The Argives, Alcena and Chromius, believing that they had killed all of the Spartans, left the battlefield racing home to Argos to announce their victory. However, they had made one mistake, a three aids, an injured Spartan, had survived. As he was technically the last man standing on the battlefield from either army, he too claimed victory. He survived long enough to tell his baggage handlers of this, and then he committed suicide. By tradition, Athreides was ashamed to be the only man in his unit to live, and so he killed himself on the field of battle rather than return to Sparta. The reason for the suicide is up for debate, but the act is of great importance. Athreides did not die by an Argive sword, and the Spartans could always claim that he survived the battle and killed himself in shame, thus gaining an upper hand due to this act of honor. Both sides were able to claim victory, the Argives because more of their champions had survived, and the Spartans because their single champion held the field. Argos did not take too kindly to the Spartans claiming victory and sent their entire hoplite army which was met by a Spartan force of equal size. The Spartans won a decisive victory and as a result gained control of Thyretis. Chapter 2 Plutarch Chapter 2 Section 1 Parallel Lives Plutarch writes in the Parallel Lives that according to Chrysimus' third book of the Peloponnesian history, there was a dispute between the Argives and the Lacedaemonians about the possession of Thyria. The Amphictyons said that three hundred of each side will fight and the victor will take the land. The Lacedaemonians chose a three aids as their captain, and the Argives the Thersander. The battle was fought, and two Argive hoplites, Aginor and Chromius, seemed to be the only survivors. They left the battlefield and went to their city in order to inform their co-citizens about the victory. But in the meantime, Athreides who was not yet dead but heavily injured, raised himself by the help of broken spears. He gathered the shields of the dead, and erected a trophy. He wrote on the trophy with his own blood to Zeus the guardian of trophies. Because there was not clear who was victorious the Amphictyons had to decide and after a personal inspection of the battlefield, gave it for the Lacedaemonians. Chapter 2 Section 2, On the Malice of Herodotus Plutarch writes in the On the Malice of Herodotus what Herodotus mentioned, meaning that Athreides was the only survivor of the Spartan champions, but because he was ashamed to return to Sparta, he slew himself on the spot at Thyria. Chapter 3 Pausanias. Pausanias adds that the battle was foretold by the Sibyl, and that the Argives considered themselves the victors and dedicated a bronze sculpture of the Trojan horse at Delphi to commemorate the victory. However, Pausanias says that the sculptor of this horse was Antiphanes of Argos, who dates to ca. 400 BC. Therefore, either Pausanias is mistaken, or he confused this with a battle at Thyria in 424 BC. Chapter 4, Lucian In the Lucian's Charon or Inspectors, the god Hermes say to the Charon that the general who lies there half-dead, writing an inscription on the trophy with his own blood, is a three aids. Chapter 5, Ovid Ovid write in his poem Fasti that if the god Terminus had marked the borders of the Thyrian land, 
the men would not have died and the name of a three aids would not been read on the piled arms. Chapter 6, Suda The 10th century Byzantine Encyclopedia Suda, write that after the men fought, a three aids remained unnoticed among the corpses, heavily wounded. When the Argive survivors Alkner and Chromios left, he managed to strip the Argive corpses, raise a trophy and write on it with human blood. But after this, he immediately died. Because of this the Spartans won the dispute. Chapter 7, Greek Anthology In the Greek Anthology there are some poems dedicated to the battle and the soldiers participated. Chapter 8, Aftermath Years later, in 420 BC during a lull in the Peloponnesian War, Argos challenged Sparta to a rematch of the Battle of the Three Hundred Champions. Sparta declined, 